Los Angeles Department of Transportation, LADOT, will unveil a permanent program for outdoor dining following the success of the COVID era initiative. Expanding outdoor dining onto sidewalk areas or repurposed street parking spaces means that the Alfresco Dining Program falls under the remit of LA's Department of Transportation. Over 3,000 LA-based eateries have taken part in the program since May 2020, when restrictions on eating indoors threatened many in the restaurant business. While the department works towards a permanent Alfresco Dining Program, restaurants must renew temporary licenses by September 30th. For more information, go to ladot.lacity.org slash al dash fresco. 72% of low-income families live in child care deserts. LA City's Community Investment for Families Department, CIFD, has launched a new child care policy and equity unit to help families access child care. The new unit will help licensed providers increase capacity and strengthen their businesses. According to the CIFD, lack of access to consistent child care costs low-income families an average of $3,350 in lost earnings every year. To provide the best possible support, the unit wants to hear about your child care experiences through its online survey, which is open until October 6. For more information, go to communityinvestment.lacity.gov. Mayor Karen Bass announced the results of her first Executive Directive ED1 on homelessness, which she issued in December 2022 to speed the development of affordable housing. Under ED1, more than 7,000 units of affordable housing have been filed with LA City's Planning Department in 95 separate projects. 2,990 units of affordable housing in 38 developments have been approved and a further 4,311 units in 57 projects are currently under review by the city's planning department. LA City Planning and several council members have now proposed a draft ordinance which would make the mayor's ED1 a permanent program. Find out more at mayor.lacity.gov.